Okay, hi everyone. I'm just going to give you a tour of room 646, the Peninsula Hotel, which isn't actually open to guests. And it's one of the most fascinating rooms in the whole hotel. It's where the Peninsula team keep a secret archive documenting the hotel's history. And if you're a very, very VIP, very, very, very IP guest, they might let you take a look at it. So I'm really privileged to be able to film some video. I've got lots to show you. Okay, so quickly looking to our left, they've got lots of vintage tableware and paraphernalia from the restaurants and bars. The hotel opened in 1928, and it's got relics from decades of history past. So this is tableware from the French restaurant Gaddy's. There's a plate from the Swiss restaurant Chessa. They have apparently something like, I want to say 78, 88, 98,000 pieces of silverware in the property today. I forget the exact figure, but they told me that 48 or so thousand pieces of tableware have to be polished every day to keep everything pristine. Here are some old menus. Those are from the Swiss restaurant Chessa. I don't know why they have a Swiss restaurant in this Hong Kong hotel. I ate there last night, it was interesting. Here are the old textured menus from the French restaurant Gaddy's. So I'm confused as to why they've got these Asian style designs, but they look so amazing. I believe they used to get stolen quite a lot, which is perhaps why don't, they don't do them anymore. Those are some of those uh, historic menus there. An old fondue set from the Swiss restaurant. Here is more menu covers. This is so cool to see in real life, and it just feels really special to be able to take a peek when it's not open to most guests. This is the menu they served on the handover ceremony in 1997 from uh, British to um, local rule. Du, 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 du. Those are the old key fobs, pre-magnetic key fob day. The peninsula, if you can see here, the insignia there that's inscribed, it used to just be, ah, here's much better example this six-story building, and then in 1998, they built that huge extension on top. The hotel has about 300 rooms in total. That's from Felix, the Sky High Bar, some champagnes. Then if we go through here, that grand piano you see is where a lot of their musical guests, they obviously get a lot of celebs and important people like that practice before they might have a concert. Here is some photography showing the hotel in days past. I think this is amazing, apparently from the 1930s, to see how low rise this part of Hong Kong was. Obviously, we're completely surrounded by skyscrapers now, uh, and also by some of the most expensive real estate in the world. Oh, <laughs> something that they'll definitely consign to the past, if I can show you. Yeah, see here? This is the old arrival experience. That's in the 1950s, and you can see the bellboys were actually boys, uh, which obviously doesn't happen anymore. There we go. These are some of the rooms from the 1950s. I'm surprised by how spacious they were. Obviously, the rooms are still very spacious, but space is at such a premium here. And the design, I think, actually looks really compelling now. Interesting to see it. We're almost done with the tour. Here is an old gramophone. You'll see lots of the old magazines. More tableware. This is the implement they used for the groundbreaking ceremony when they were building the extension. Lots of cute peninsula teddy bears that they create for special occasions and sometimes gift to guests. You've got an old room service menu there. Caviar was five US dollars or 50 Hong Kong dollars at the time, but we don't actually know when the room service menu was from. And here is the space again. This is such a great amenity. You can see how it used to be a hotel room because there's a toilet behind that door. Um, 
not very publicly known about, not accessible to most guests. It's been really exciting to have the tour. And there you have it, Peninsula Hong Kong's secret museum space.